Really quick, just before I begin this video, hit the like button and then comment to me with your favorite breakfast food. And the reason why, the more comments that I receive, the higher my video will show up above other scammy links in Google and YouTube search results. And your commenting about your favorite breakfast food could help others avoid this scam. Okay, it's mid-February 2024 and people are receiving an email out there that says purchase confirmation. It claims that they have ordered Norton LifeLock and that they have an invoice, they need to pay a bunch of money and it's all fake. This is a classic fake invoice scam that scammers have been running for a long time. And I want to make this quick video about this because I received one of these emails myself early in the morning. And, you know, it, it claims purchase confirmation. It's got a number. It looks pretty official, I guess, if you consider these things official looking. And it comes with a PDF attachment. Just opening the attachment, no, that's not going to harm anything. The thing that's going to be harmful is if you call the phone number because in the fake invoice, that phone number goes directly to scammers. And I noticed that the, the, the invoice that I received, the fake invoice, that it was tailored just to me. Like someone actually created the PDF with my email address in the PDF, which means that there is a large operation out there that is trying to put together lots of different PDFs to try to, to I guess, go after lots of different people. And that's pretty terrible, obviously. It says it was for Norton LifeLock and antivirus security, a two-year subscription for $899.99. And the phone number in the fake invoice that I received was an 831 number, 831-531-4889. It's undoubtedly going to go somewhere overseas, maybe to India is, is what I often find with these sorts of things. And it says that you can get a refund within 12 hours of payment. Please notify us if you do not authorize this transaction. And that's what the, the scammers want you to do. They want you to call the phone number and be sucked into the scam. And so, like I said, if you just opened the PDF, but you didn't do anything else, you're fine. If you called the phone number, but didn't give away any, any information, you're also fine. But if you called the phone number and, for example, let the scammers remotely connect to your computer through a website or something like that, that's something that's not good. You got scammed. And I don't know exactly what to tell you to do to recover from that other than to make sure that they can no longer connect to your computer. And I think once you close your browser, you should be okay, but they may have placed something on your computer you want to check into. So talk to a local computer shop. I wish it could be more helpful than that, but that that's what I have on that. Or the scammers maybe asked you to go to a store, stay with them on the phone and read off Visa gift card and MasterCard gift card numbers. And of course, once you give away those numbers, you can't get that money back. And obviously no reputable business is ever going to ask you to pay with business. I mean, with, with gift cards rather. So that's scammy. They may also ask you for your PayPal information, Venmo, Cash App, Zelle, credit card details, bank information for your debit card, whatever it may be. If you gave away any of that stuff, contact that financial institution and just try not to fall for this th sort of thing. These auto debit scams, as they call them, fake invoice scams, these are not real invoices. This is not something that you actually owe to someone. The scammers hope that you believe that this is real and they hope to strike fear into you so that you call the scammers and then they can try to scam you and you don't want to do that. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you see anything else like this out there and it's not coming from an official email address, even if it is, just check on it with the real company. So close out of what you think might be a scam email and then contact the company through an official phone number, contact form, email address, whatever that you find on the company's official website and make sure that you're on the company's official website, you're not on a scam website. And to do that, just go to Google, type in, if you wanna to go to Norton's official website, it's gonna be norton.com. Look under the sponsored ads on Google and make sure that you're visiting the official website for whatever it is you received a fake invoice for. Contact them and hopefully that can you know help them out. So hit the like button down below, a thumbs up button, and also comment to me with your favorite breakfast food because the more comments I receive, the higher my video might appear in search results and then I can help more people. So like, comment, there's a thanks button off to the right of the like button as well. I, I rarely get one of those, but sometimes I do. And that's just about it. Thank you so much for watching.